Sophie with Our Organic Life. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you don't know, I shoot off of, up until now only was shooting off of this one camera, but now I'm shooting off of two different cameras depending upon the situation. My primary camera, I'm using the, um, the Sony HD Handycam, and it's a nice little camera. I actually am very pleased with it, but one issue that I have is that here in Florida we deal with a lot of wind and so of course as you if you've watched our vlog you may remember in videos where like for instance this video not like nasty red rain today like dread. and here farm on quail hollow yep bobblehead and here bazooka so leon Leon has a, uh, a knack. Today I'm going to be trying out a method to try and stop the wind issues. Now, if you watch our videos, thank you so much for coming back. If you are new to the channel, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, and also hit that bell so you get notifications whenever we post videos. But let's try and see if we can fix the issue with the wind noise. So for this project, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be making a wind muffler. Now with a lot of um, cameras that you would use for recording, you would have a external mic um, hookup um, where which you could then hook up an external mic and use a wind muffler. Unfortunately, this camera does not have an external mic option. So what we're going to be doing is on the front here is where the uh, microphones are. So we're going to be making a wind muffler that will kind of, in essence, go around them to block the wind from getting to them. So what you're going to be needing for this project is scissors, an X-Acto knife, a section of long pile faux fur, and then I am using a command hook tape. So my camera has two mics in the front. You don't want to cover the mics with the fabric. You want to basically have a circle around it and the fur will kind of come together over it and kind of float over it and that's what blocks the wind. So we're gonna cut out two small pieces to go there and then to go there as well. So basically I've got it fit to where it will fit over the microphones. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of eyeball the circles here where the mics are. Underneath, pull it back, you can see the holes, but you push the hair down and it's a little microphone mustache. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to be taking our command hook stickies. So I got the tape placed and basically what I decided to do was I went with um, putting squares around the mics. And then we're going to take and locate our eyes of the muffler. So then we'll take our eyes and we will place it over locate where the mics are and just kind of tentatively place it and then press into the tape to secure it and then you'll want to go back and double check and make sure that the mics are not covered so as you can see so this is one of the mics and then the other mic is right here you just don't want the fabric to uh, cover it so there you have it. There is the, the wind muffler. I think we can call this the mic mustache. Because it kind of looks like a mustache. What do you guys think? Does it look like a mustache or does it look like a hula skirt? I think it looks like a mustache. I'm going to call it the mic mustache. I think it's cute. So let's go ahead and see if it is visible from the... So now to make sure that it's not visible on the camera and it's not you, you can't even see anything so that is good so the next test is gonna be making sure that it actually blocks the wind like it's supposed to so I'm gonna take this out to the pasture where it is nice and windy and I'm going to give it a good little trial run 
So we got a little bit of wind out here, so I figured now would be the best time to test it and see if I think, so now the wind's hitting the mics directly and so you guys can kind of hear the, uh, how good this is working. I'd say that it's, uh, I did a little test run to listen in here and I think it's actually doing pretty good. I'm pretty happy. So if you guys have a camera that does not have an external mic port and you're having issues with the wind, I think this would be a great uh, cheap solution for you instead of having to buy a camera that does have a mic port. Be sure to give our video a big thumbs up. Once again, leave a comment below with your thoughts on this little DIY project and I hope that this helps you. Happy homesteading!